for me, it's it's been f over four years since I was uh, pregnant, and you know, vaccines were on my mind mainly for my baby when she was going to come out. And I wasn't really too concerned about getting myself vaccinated because I knew that as a child I already got all my vaccines. But uh, did you know that there were actually some vaccines recommended for pregnant women, like the flu vaccine, for example? Was that something that uh, you heard about or that your doctors uh, mentioned? Actually, there was nobody telling that uh, any vaccination was recommended during pregnancy. Um, there was yeah, ne neither the gynecologist or general doctor or whoever said and if you in informed yourself about it it was more like yeah uh, there are there are not so many experiences but it's not dangerous to to do the vaccination but it's not nowhere mentioned that it's recommendable to do so and uh, that I found very difficult I don't know uh, how about you I, I actually I was uh, recommended by my midwife actually he wasn't my gynecologist gynecologist he was my my, my midwife and um, yeah I was just uh, one pertussis is uh, it's a vaccination that they recommend uh, to to do before the 32nd week so that's what uh, I did but not only me but uh, my husband also he was uh, vaccinated so the baby could, well, the baby whenever he comes out or she, and uh, would be protected from my husband. And, and for me, he was uh, immune from the vaccine. So yeah, my midwife was really highly recommended this uh, vaccine. Yeah. I mean, even I had a high-risk pregnancy that they didn't even mention. <laughs> they didn't even mention it to me, so I didn't know. I mean, I know that uh, Pertussis, for instance, there was a recent outbreak and a lot of kids, I think it was in the US, started having whooping cough. And it's very sad because you have these tiny babies, you know, who have such a hard time breathing because of something that if the mother got vaccinated during her third trimester would have actually been easier. And it is recommended. Um, but, uh, you know, my doctor never mentioned pertussis even as a risk. I don't know, was that something that came up in your conversations? No, not, not at all. As I said, for me it was recommended. It was the only one, that's true. Uh, and that was, I think, mainly because uh, there was an outbreak also. And in the last few years has been an incidence of, you know, of uh, children actually uh, dying from uh, pertussis. Mm -hmm. Because well, it's something that uh, affects the um, the breathing, and you know, it's quite uh, it's quite dangerous actually, and that's why you know I think they are very concerned, and you know they try mm. to mm. give this information away. But anyway, mm. I I I don't know. I um that was six months ago. Yeah. I was the infor I I was uh, informed. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Maybe for you it was. I don't know. I don't know why uh, they, they didn't uh, advise you or recommend you the, the vaccine. I, I, don't, I don't know uh, the reason. Okay, my, my daughter is now five months. And if it was six months uh, ago, maybe it was just a late, late stage. And uh, of course, the information flows uh, still need some time. But uh, well, I, I don't know if, how you feel about it. If, if it I, um, that you got the vaccination, well, for me it would have been yeah, uh, at least a little relief, a, a, little, a little bit of feeling of having done something good. Yeah. Because uh, if you have a baby, it's not even uh, thinking about, about pertussis, but in general you're always uh, worried. Yeah. And uh, if you get that information and the possibility to protect about something really dangerous, this is, uh, yeah. It but leaves you a little bit bad, your worries and so At the beginning I was, uh, you know, she said, well, uh, you can vaccinate. And I wasn't uh, at all uh, sure I was going to do it because, mm -hmm. you know, I wanted first to check with, you know, with people around to see yeah. if that was uh, okay and, you know. And, and then, you know, I, I just read that it was, um, it was actually, you know, highly recommended. 
So I decided to do it uh, before, you know, the 32 weeks. For example, like the, f the flu vaccine, you know, the World Health Organization recommends it really for pregnant women. It's one of their biggest target groups to hit because uh, um, as a pregnant woman, you are more susceptible to catching the flu. And by getting the flu vaccine, you can actually prevent your child from being at risk of having lower birth rate. So for me, this was something I did not know. I was actually not vaccinated during my pregnancy. How do you think about this? Or what do you think about this? Personally, I, I never got the flu, you know, so it never, uh, I never thought about it. And now that I, I just got uh, this other vaccination, I think that uh, it could be a possibility. I will ask my, my doctor if uh, she uh, recommends uh, me and, you know, to have the, the vaccination. But uh, no, um, recommend it. It was just uh, the other, the other uh, vaccine, the the pertussis. pertussis. Yeah. But for the flu, as I never got it, I I didn't think of it uh, as necessary. Yeah. But anyway, I. You yeah, know, like I the, there was uh, absolutely nothing about vaccination. It's just like the, rec the only recommendation: if you get sick, don't take m take medicine and, and uh, do some natural stuff. But there was nothing that you say, okay, why don't you get a vac vaccination? There was that was never a topic. We, you were mentioning something earlier about you know you were curious about the flu vaccine and you were asking mm -hmm. your doctor about it. Can you tell me about can, you know tell us about that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, I, um, I planned uh, to get uh, the flu vaccination for the first time last year. Mm -hmm. um, but when actually it was time to get the, va the vaccination, I found out that I was pregnant. And so I informed myself if it was da dangerous or not. And then there was much, no, it is not. And actually it is good because the baby will be protected when, when born. Uh, so at least the first year, it's, uh, it's also easier for the baby. Um, but uh, yeah, that that was when I informed myself about it. It was I got the information, and, and I think it is it is good to read. And I think, but I think that you should be informed about it. So for the WHO, pregnant women are their number one priority group for getting the flu vaccination, so that when you give birth, your babies will be at the lower risk of having low birth weight. But uh, um, you know, with some women being hesitant about getting the flu vaccine or not being aware that it's safe and recommended during pregnancy, sometimes I worry because I didn't get the flu vaccine when I was pregnant. I thought I would just not get the flu anyways, which I'm lucky I didn't and my daughter was fine when she was born. But it concerns me knowing that a lot of pregnant women out there aren't getting the vaccine and since you don't know it's like do the risk outweigh the benefits I mean we always have these questions in our minds I mean was it something that I mean now you know does it you said you were gonna try to get the flu vaccine but does it worry you yeah well now that I'm pregnant and I, I know more about vaccines may, I will consider it for the next uh, pregnancy maybe but uh, for the time being now I, I, I will ask uh, my doctor uh, you know uh, what she recommends because you know uh, I think that's the best uh, to do I trust actually the, the professionals yeah. Yeah. And, and of course, the WHO is, is an authority, so, you know, we, we should trust them, but again, you know, um, yeah. we trust somebody who is uh, close, uh, you know. Uh, yes. somebody Someone personal. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's why you, you don't inform yourself if you're pregnant, you don't inform yourself on the web page uh, of them. Yeah. It's just you go to your, your gynecologist, uh, yeah. may, to midwife and, and so on. But and, ask. It, and ask and that's it. it it's, it's not, uh, you, you won't ask the world about what, what is recommended. Yeah. It's just uh, you really, yeah, you have your own little universe and that, that's the way it stays. And if nobody really recommends it, you, and it, we as said that you don't even get an idea to to get a vaccination because it's just there, well you don't really have the reason for doing it. Um, that's that's the, the problem. If it's recommend, I would have liked to uh, to know it when I was pregnant. Yeah. Um, well, that 
I decided finally not to get uh, the, the vaccine it was for another reason. It was not because I don't believe in it, but it was, as uh, I said, it was uh, because I, I was not sure how my body will react uh, uh, to it. But uh, if I would have uh, let's say, known the reaction of my body and would have known that it's really recommended, at that point in time I would have uh, uh, done the vaccination. I, I totally understand because I know when I was pregnant I would avoid eating certain foods. You know, you have all this long, long list of things that you're not supposed to do this, stay away from deep sea fish, you know, don't eat um, very soft cheeses, for example, don't eat this, don't drink this much coffee, don't drink, you know, wine, don't drink this and that. And you're also taking your vitamins, you're trying to take care of your baby. So there are so many things that I was concerned about, which I'm sure you guys were concerned about too, but do you think then that it's understandable that some pregnant women, you know, also if they, one, aren't aware about the vaccines that are available to them, that then they're hesitant about getting vaccinated while pregnant? I, I think it, that that's the point because uh, you avoid everything which is not healthy or not sterile, uh, st yeah. uh, sterile or not uh, well, yeah it, it, belonging to normal life and a vaccination is uh, some well something special you don't get vac vaccinated every day and uh, seeing that it's recommended that you almost take no medicine uh, it's then say okay you don't ever think about okay let's get a vaccination it's just you don't think about it and um, it's something which, yeah, the midwife or the, the med medical doctor should maybe advise because it's something which it's not what gets into your mind. Yeah. It's uh, I don't I don't know why I didn't even think about it. It related to my pregnancy. Maybe I should get a certain vaccination. I, n I never thought about it. It's something which really was totally out of my mind. Yeah, I think uh, our idea of vaccination is more when you travel to another country uh, that has, you know, some yeah. sort of uh, diseases that could be, you know, dangerous or even for all people in the case of influenza. But uh, I don't know, you're right, because when, when we are pregnant, we, we look after ourselves uh, as ever, you know, we've done before. So uh, why not considering uh, vaccination? I think it's just uh, something we trust that the professionals do for us, you know, just uh, think or tell us what uh, we should do or, or not, because they are... Yeah. It's you, like you trust them and, and you think that they, if there is something you should be doing, extra than, you know, looking after the, the, the nutrition and, you know, all you do, also the, you know, the health uh, care, like uh, vaccination, for example. Yeah. So uh, it's a matter of trust uh, in the, yeah. the professionals. Yeah. Because we were touching on as well, where do we get the information? You know, when you're pregnant, you get advice left and right uh, from so many different people about what to do, what not to do. And trust is a very important factor there. It's like, who, who did you talk to? Who did you go to when you had questions? Because I know I had a million questions. Uh. Internet now, you, you can get a lot of information too. Uh, but then you just um, go to the you know the websites who, that are you know reliable, like uh, you know uh, the WHO or you know some uh, I don't know health uh, um, uh, health uh, page. You know uh, now we are in Belgium and y we are lucky because you can check in English, in French, and in you know other languages, even in your own language. So, you know, the information is out there, but then you have to contrast, you have to, you know, to, to see what uh, you can, you know, believe, uh, what you cannot uh, really take as uh, serious. Mm. But, um, yeah, it was a lot of information from the internet, but also friends that have uh, already children, my, my mother, my aunts, and so on, just to, yeah, a little bit of uh, yeah, getting the information how it was, uh, was for them. But of course, uh, seeing that my friends neither got the recommendation for vaccination, they didn't recommend it to me. You know, they didn't give me the idea of vaccination from for my mother or my aunts. It's already 
uh, quite a long time ago that they were pregnant and uh, that time there was a different mindset uh, uh, of course so they also didn't give any incentive to to think about it yeah for me i was i was the same way i didn't actually have any questions about vaccines during my pregnancy because i didn't think about it the, everything just felt okay this is going to be normal and thinking about vaccines i was thinking mainly about when my baby would have been born because i know okay she's mm. going to get the, all the vaccines i never had any doubt about that because i didn't have that hesitance it was a given for me but uh, there are a lot of people who are concerned about vaccines in general. I just wanted to know what your thoughts were about vaccines as a whole. Was it something that's completely normal that you feel is necessary or? Oh, well, I think vaccines are one of the biggest uh, successes no? from uh, medicine. I mean, a lot of people uh, benefit from uh, vaccines nowadays. And well, nowadays and it's been going, you know, for for a long time. But uh, yeah, I think it's it's something to celebrate, you know, that we are we can't actually we can uh, uh, benefit from you know vaccines and and we have them there. But uh, yeah, I think uh, vaccines are you know, something we need in in life. But it's true, it's uh, it's uh, something that concerns. Uh, uh, Above all, you know, uh, the first period uh, or the first years in in a child, in a person's life. Yeah. Mm. yeah I think vaccines are very important. Um, ways maybe you have so many uh, vaccines, and of well, for me, I think you should well only get the vac vac vaccines that are that you need, mm -hmm. because not in yeah. every country, in the world, not in every area, you need the same. Um, but. Uh, I think for for uh, your country um, or the area where you live, you should uh, consider to to get the vaccinations which are available and recommended. Mm -hmm.